In this th third video on simplifying algebraic fractions, we're going to look at how we can simplify algebraic fractions that have quadratics in them. As a quick reminder from the previous video, we looked at algebraic fractions such as 2x plus 2 over 5x plus 5. And remember to simplify that, we had to first factorise both the top and the bottom to find common factors. So in the top we got 2x plus 1 and on the bottom we got 5x plus 1 and then we could cancel out the x plus 1 on the top and on the bottom which left us with a final answer of just 2 fifths. Now when we're dealing with quadratic algebraic fractions we do the same thing. We factorise first, and then we cancel any common factors. So if we have a quadratic involved, we must first factorise the quadratic before looking for common factors that are in the, both the numerator and the denominator, which we can cancel. In order to do this, we're going to need to be able to factorise quadratics, which we shall review as we look through the following examples. So our first example is 4x minus 20 all over x squared minus 13x plus 40. Now the first thing we need to do is to factorise everything in that equation. So first of all we factorise the top and 4 goes into both 4x and minus 20 so we get 4 brackets x minus 5 on the top and on the bottom, we have to factorise the quadratic x squared minus 13x plus 40. Now remember to factorise a quadratic, we need two brackets. And we're going to have x at the front of both of those. And then we're looking for the numbers that multiply to make plus 40 and add to make minus 13. So because they multiply to make a positive number, they both have to be the same sign. And because they add to give a negative number, they both have to be negative. And from there, we can see that the numbers that add to give 13 and multiply to give 40 are 5 and 8. So 5 and 8 go in there. If you're not quite sure and you want a ha handy hint to what it might be, notice the top has x minus 5 in it, so for us to simplify, we're going to need that x minus 5 on the bottom. And indeed, that's what we're going to do next. We're going to cancel out the x minus 5 on the top with the x minus 5 on the bottom, giving us a final answer of 4 over x minus 8. In this example, we have b squared minus 36 over 3b minus 18. Again, the first thing we need to do is factorise everything in the equation. And on the bottom first, we have 3b minus 18, so that factorises nicely to 3 brackets b minus 6. And on the top we have b squared minus 36, which is one of our very special types of quadratics. It is the difference of two squares. And that factorises as b and b, and it is minus 6 and plus 6. Remember the difference of two squares always factorises in the same way with the first part of the difference plus or minus in the two brackets the second square root of the second part of the difference. Now we have our algebraic fraction we can simplify we can cancel the b minus 6 on the top with the b minus 6 on the bottom which gives us a final answer of b plus 6 over 3. And now in our final example, 
we have x squared plus x minus 2 on the top and x squared plus 2x minus 3 on the bottom. So we have two quadratics involved in this algebraic fraction and we need to factorise both of them. So we have two brackets for the top first. x is going to be at the front of both of them and we're looking for the numbers that multiply to make minus 2 and add to make 1. And the answers for that are minus 1 and plus 2. Because 2 minus 1 gives us the plus 1 and minus 1 times the 2 gives us the minus 2. Similarly on the bottom, we write out our two brackets we have x in the front of both of them and we're looking for the numbers which multiply to make minus 3 and add to make plus 2 and again we have minus 1 and this time it is plus 3 and now we have our factors we can cancel out the common factor of x minus 1 on the top and on the bottom to give us our final answer of x plus 2 over x plus 3. So when dealing with algebraic fractions, whether they be quadratic or not, we must remember to factorize first and then cancel any common factors.